on him when he was here in town. Oh, oh, oh. So uh, we left off with a teaser of uh, the state of the uh, house that prepared 20 years ago. What, what's your opinion? What do you think? Uh, I think it's a good book. I think uh, you can't compare. Uh, everybody wants to compare, but realistically, everybody has different time frames. So, what you compare, what people may consider their classic house, is, is in different times. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think dance music as a whole is healthy. I think dance music as a whole has always been healthy. Um, but it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go up and down. It's just the way all types of music just happens. And right now it's really exciting for dance music only because uh, I think anybody can pick up their laptop and put their beats and that makes it really exciting. And anybody can make their own versions of songs. And I think the creativity level of today is really ridiculous. And that's what uh, I find uh, probably more exciting than uh, this previous year where you just got the money. Had two copies, you can kind of flip it. But now, I mean, you're doing mashups. You're taking out the palette and putting it on another song. You're doing your own versions and your own edits and your own remixes. So the creativity level right now is amazing. And it's a lot of fun. Right. Right. We do have a question now. Morris, my grandfather, Mark Gaspard. How do you feel about the uh, transition between vinyl to CDs? The laptop and now MIDI controllers. Uh, it's just all part of. Um, you can't. Technology is always going to move forward, so you can't fight it. Um, I, I I realized I was probably um, I didn't make the jump quick enough, probably as I should, from vinyl to uh, CDJs, um, just because I wasn't as comfortable. And um, and I, at first I had to get over the hump, but I, it felt like I was cheap. So you have these people now going, oh, well, if you're on MIDI controllers, you're cheating because you're not mixing them. It's, 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 it's what comes out of the speakers at the end of the day. Technology has, has, has moved forward where things can keep it on YouTube. It doesn't mean your creativity level has gone down. It means you can be more creative nowadays than you were before. I mean, does a, a DJ make a DJ because he can keep two songs on the that's not, that's not what a DJ is. It's about the amount of work, you know. I may play a two-hour set on a Saturday and Sunday, but I probably spent, you know, with me and my assistant and my crew putting together various versions of songs. We might have spent 15 hours during the week for that two-hour set. As of before, you would just practice for about an hour or two hours with your vinyl book for your set. So it may, people might, well, he's just pushing buttons, but they don't look at all the time it took for the creativity level to get to just pushing them. It's yeah. actually more time for them. That's, that's yeah, kind of what bothers me with a lot of DJs who are these hardcore vinyl, you know, enthusiasts that they say, you know, oh, you're pushing buttons. <laughs> and my response is, you know, yeah, we're pushing buttons. So are you when you push start, light, and stop on the record player. And not only are you pushing buttons, you're also moving aluminum and steel. So that doesn't mean anything. No, it's it, it, like it, you said, yeah. ultimately what comes out of the speed. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Yeah, because the people that are on the dance floor, honestly, they don't care. They don't care. They just want to hear their favorite song, they want to hear it, and then they're going to be impressed by hearing something that they haven't heard. They're not really going, wow, how is he doing that, or did he do that? It doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. It's just like, technology is always going to move forward. Yeah, there's nothing that you can do to stop technology. Now, if somebody wants to still play on vinyl because they're like, yo, I still love the way this feels, and that's cool for them to do too. You know, but I don't think you can put down somebody for moving forward with technology. It's like if I was saying, yo, man, I can't believe you're on the iPhone. I'm still rocking the flip phone. <laughs> you know, because I'm going to hold on to this flip phone. Now, you can move forward with the iPhone. If you can move forward with the iPhone or this type of technology, then you are behind. Yes, yeah. Yes, very good point.